Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Eight thousand, and this is what? And that is the break-even break point in terms of units or in terms of sales dollars. Um, well, if you use this thirty, then. Then it will be eight thousand. Is it dollars or eight thousand tickets? Eight thousand tickets because each ticket variable cost is thirty dollars, right? You did this part right. If it's asking your break-even point in units, then this will be the answer. But then you have one more step to do. Once you get this eight thousand, what do you do with it? Tickets. So how much is sales dollars of this? Multiply that by forty, right? Because the new sales price per ticket is 40. Right. Thank you. So you have $320,000. This would be the break even sales in dollars. Now remember that this is one way to do it. We also have another way to do it. We'll be using directly contribution ratio. That's another way. Right. So this way gives you two steps. You calculate break even units. This is the tickets. Because what you use here in the denominator is variable cost in dollars. Uh, the contribution margin, I'm sorry, contribution margin in dollars. You can also use contribution margin ratio, which will directly give you the $320,000. So if we use contribution margin ratio, that will be $30 is contribution margin, but you divide it by the new sales price, 40. This will give you a contribution margin ratio, and then use this to divide the fixed cost. This will also give you 320,000. Remember contribution margin ratio per dollar of sales, how much contribution margin we're getting. So if you calculate this ratio, how much is that? Point seven five. Right, so $240,000 divided by 0.75 will give you $320,000. Okay, so there are two ways to do this. You can either calculate break-even units first and then calculate break-even sales. The question ask, actually is asking you both of these. Okay, so you can do it this way or get the sales dollars first. So if you think about this question here, sales price originally is 50. Now we decrease it to 40. Right, so if we lower down the sales price, the contribution margin here originally was 40 and now it's only 30. So originally if it was 40, the break-even units was lower. Right? So if, if it was 40 earlier, we were getting only 6,000 units in order to break even the original price. That will be using 40 divided by uh, $240,000 divided by 40. But now since we lower down the sales price, everything else is the same. Contribution margin per ticket you're getting is only $30, so you need to sell more tickets in order to break even. Okay, this is what this problem is trying to lead you to understanding. If we change some of the strategies in the business, how will this affect break even units? Earlier it was 6,000 units, now you need 8,000 in order to break even. But each and every ticket you're selling it at a lower price, so it's also likely that customers, if they compare across different amusing parks, they may want to choose yours because yours has a lowered price. You may be able, able to break even even more easily.